Hello, I'm Paul Weston. Now, today's video is about the peculiar relationship with Prime Minister Rishi Sunak and uh, the mRNA manufacturer Moderna. Now, Sunak has spent most of his pre-political life working in close contact with people intimately involved with Moderna, the World Economic Forum, and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. And perhaps this explains why a, a complete political non-entity could become a newly elected MP in 2015 and Prime Minister uh, just seven years later. In 2004, uh, Sunak worked for a hedge fund uh, somewhat nauseatingly called the Children's Investment Fund Management, uh, which just happens to be a strategic partner of Gavi, uh, the global vehicle funded and founded by Bill Gates in a drive to vaccinate every living being on the planet. Now this is surreal coincidence number one. And Sunak's boss at this hedge fund was a Frenchman by name of Patrick de Gorse, who left the uh, Children's Investment Fund in 2009 to set up a new hedge fund in California called Thelem Partners with Rishi Sunak uh, as a founding partner. And in 2011, Patrick de Gorse and Rishi Sunak uh, just happened to become friendly with a chap called Stefan Bansell, who had recently been appointed CEO of a tiny startup biogenetic firm called. Moderna. And this is surreal co uh, coincidence number two. De Gorse and Rishi Sunak promptly invested close to one-third of Thelem's hedge fund pot of $700 million uh, into Moderna, and that's despite it never having achieved anything at all other than barely keeping its head above the water. And the value of the shares was measured in cents rather than dollars in 2011, uh, but in 2020 and 2021 they rose to an astonishing $450 per share. And Bill Gates also uh, got into the act, of course, and invested multi-millions in Moderna in 2015 uh, when the shares were trading below $20. And it's almost as though Patrick de Gaulle's Rishi Sunak and Bill Gates all knew exactly what was going to happen in 2020, isn't it? And this surreal coincidence is number three. And in 2013, Rishi Sunak, a man who had spent his entire adult life in search of fabulous riches, decided to turn his back on his very own hedge fund based in sunny California and return to drizzly Yorkshire, England, in the hope of becoming a lowly backbench Conservative MP on a salary of £90,000, which is a wonderful sum of money for Joe Bloggs, but it's just pocket money as far as hedge fund Rishi was concerned. And then his stratospheric rise to the pinnacle of British politics uh, started with his selection as a parliamentary candidate for the Richmond constituency in Yorkshire, which was and is the safest seat for a Conservative in the country. How did he wangle that? And a few years later, Sunak was Chancellor during the purported pandemic and Prime Minister shortly after that. And as soon as he became Prime Minister in October 2022, he immediately signed a strategic 10-year partnership deal worth around £1 billion with Moderna. And this is surreal coincidence number four. And Moderna has now completed its shiny new factory in Oxfordshire and boasts of an ability to manufacture 250 million new mRNA vaccines a year, which will be used to expensively treat uh, various diseases historically dealt with highly effectively via our natural immune systems. OK, just a little recap. In January 2020, uh, the purported COVID-19 virus killed an astonishing 26 people uh, in China, a country of some 1.4 billion people. And such an earth-shattering event led the ruling Chinese Communist Party to frantically look for a vaccine uh, to combat this eye-wateringly lethal virus. And needing outside help, they thoughtfully gave the genetic sequence for the purported virus 
to Stefan Bansell, CEO of Moderna. And this is surreal coincidence number four. Why did they choose to give the genetic sequence to Stefan Bansell? Answer, because they knew him very well. In surreal coincidence number five, Bansell had previously been CEO of a French company called Biomeria, which, along with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, is an international partner of China's Centre for Disease Control and Prevention, which rather curiously is run by the Chinese military. Now, many people are baffled as to how Chinese scientists were able to come up with the precise genetic sequence for the COVID virus when no such virus had ever been isolated. And the reality of the situation is that they knew exactly what the sequence was because they had built the virus with that precise genetic sequence in the laboratory of the Wuhan Institute for Virology. And now we come to perhaps the most astonishing, surreal coincidence of them all, which is that the biocontainment level for laboratory in Wuhan just happened to have been built by none other than Stefan Bansell's company, Biomeria itself. And this happened shortly after he had left, admittedly, but from what I can gather, uh, Bansell con uh, continues to sit on the board of Biomeria. So... To sum up the situation then, shortly after graduating, Rishi Sunak worked for a hedge fund allied with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. He then headed to California where he befriended uh, Moderna CEO Stefan Bansell. Sunak then agreed to invest close to a third of his hedge fund money in Moderna in order to bring to market an mRNA genetic therapy, which because of multiple issues surrounding its safety had never been used before. And that was quite the gamble, wasn't it, Mr. Sunak? And Stefan Bansell's ex-company, Biomeria, massively funded by Bill Gates, then built the Level 4 laboratory in Wuhan, which specialised in developing gain-of-function coronaviruses. And in late 2019, there was a apparent lab leak from the self-same laboratory, whereupon Stefan Bansell's Moderna was immediately handed the requisite genetic sequence to develop a vaccine. Now, if all of this sounds highly implausible to you, it is because it is utterly implausible, and the number of surreal coincidences could never, ever have happened by mere chance. And this whole thing was planned, and Rishi Sunak is up to his neck in it. And this explains why he refuses to divulge how much money he has personally made via his hedge funds backing of Moderna, which must amount to possibly possibly thousands of millions of dollars, but certainly hundreds of millions of dollars. And this also neatly explains um, this. Let me be unequivocal from this dispatch box that COVID vaccines are safe, Mr. Speaker. People really should be extremely angry about all of this. YouTube has demonetized my channel, of course, so if you want to support me, you can, uh, you can donate via uh, Buy Me A Coffee. The link's in the description box below, uh, as is the link to my book, um, which, which details an awful lot of lies and crimes about the whole COVID-19 thing. Uh, thank you very much.